Okay, so I'm gonna start working on this motor. Um, the one thing is I want to, uh, this box feels a little loose here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this plate off. Look under there, see what's going on and tighten that up. But uh, this box is super loose and jiggly. There's four um, flathead bolts, probably 10 by 24 or something, um, screws in there. And uh, I, t I tighten, there's two on this side and there's two behind these capacitors. And um, I tighten these two as much as I could and they just bottom out. So I think the screw's too long there. All right, so I got these capacitors out and uh, one of them is cracked right here on the side. Right up to the, a little bit past the GE. Let's see what Mike wants to do about that. All right, so hopefully you can see in here now there's one, two, three, four of these. And uh, like I said, they're as tight as they can be. Yeah, that's bottomed out. Yeah, that's still loose, see? So these need washers. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make them. All right, so just made a bunch, I made four of these uh, washers, 50 thousands. Hopefully they'll be thick enough. And let's see what happens here. I think it's gonna be perfect. Oh yeah, that is just the one screw in there. Just that one alone did it. Let's do another one. And I am gonna wrap this ground wire on here. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, no more wiggle jiggle. Okay, that was a little unexpected, but done. Okay guys, just sort of got everything painted here. The tape is still on. Um, yeah, here's how everything's looking. The motor came out really good. That was, but yeah. So, and then we just have this, uh, just have the cast um, painted now, so. So once this paint's cured, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use these to make templates for shims. And All right guys, so just kind of roughing the shims in here. Just kind of roughing the shims in.
Okay, so I have the bottom die in the um, the bottom hammer die in my vice jaw here. So this is the high side. This is the right hand side of the machine. This is how the die sits in the machine. So this is the right. And as I come across towards the middle, drop down five thousandths, ten thousandths, fifteen thousandths, twenty thousandths, twenty five thousandths to the middle of that valley and that defect right there and then it starts to come back up out of the out of the groove but it never really comes all the way back up to zero it's still about ten thousand shy on this side so um, I'm gonna come in I'm gonna touch off on the high side uh, or touch off on the low side and then cut across but I know I'm gonna have to take at least 25,000 so I'll probably end up taking like 30 thousandths off of the face of this take 25 and then leave five and clean use the last five thousandths as a cleanup pass but that's where it's high on this side so we're getting pretty close here I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up or not but there's a defect right in the center right there and uh just going to try to get that out Next couple of uh, passes should get it. I'm taking five thousandths here because this. All right, just took my final pass. It actually ended up taking about uh, almost sixty thousandths to get to the bottom of that defect. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna send the dial, dial indicator across here now. And we are flat as can be. So, get that out of the, get that out of the chuck, or get that out of the vise, and then uh, take it over to the machine. All right, boys, here she is. Final assembly. It's kind of a janky uh, electrical setup right now, so I'm just, I'll turn it on. So that's pretty much it, boys. Um, I think we're all good to go here. Um, Mike, I hope you like it. It'll be ready for when you get back, and uh, you can put it in your new shop.